Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're in our SU-33 C flanker and we're going to try a night landing on a carrier. So what we've got is we are out here, we are heading about that direction and we are, oh we're quite close actually, we're 13 miles away from the uh, Kuznetsov carrier and the Kuznetsov carrier is heading northbound. But before we get on, let's have a look at the controls that we, we're going to be using today. So as well as all your normal axis and aircraft plane uh, controls, you're going to want one for navigations mode. Also, next waypoint and previous waypoint. Get, make sure you've got those controls set up. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that we are Christmas tree inside. So we've got all of our lights on. You do that with the L key. And that is something you'll need. So... Um, obviously we can't find and navigate ourselves to the carrier um, in the dark, it's going to be impossible, so what we're going to do is use our navigation modes. So what we're going to do is first of all press 1, 1 cycles between en route, return and landing mode. Return is the first mode we're going to use, that will take us to our, our approach point. Our approach point is going to be about 10 miles uh, south of the carrier, roughly about there where I'm highlighting there, so it's going to navigate us to there and it'll navigate us in terms of azimuth and elevation and speed so all we've got to do is follow its commands once we get to our approach point it will cancel the land uh, sorry cancel the return mode and automatically change to the ILS landing mode at which point it will give us all the same symbols but take us all the way down pretty much to the runway uh, sorry to the carrier and once we're about half a mile to quarter of a mile depending on visibility then we'll just probably go in visual from there so let's get working on that. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is call the carrier, ask him to turn his lights on. So we're going to press the communications key. We're going to press F uh, ATC. There's our carrier. Inbound. Right, well I don't know what all that was about, but he was basically uh, giving us permission to land. So he's turned his lights on now, which is good. A uh, quick look at the HUD. Uh, now this can be very disorientating because we've got no um, visibility outside. It's all instruments, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. But what we've got is our airspeed there. We've got our ideal airspeed there, so we need to try and match that. We've got our ideal height there. We've got our actual height there in radar meters. We've got our climb and sink velocity there, vertical velocity there. The circle there is our guide based on our current nav mode. What we want to do is basically put our cross, which is where our aircraft heading, not our aircraft's uh, sorry, not our aircraft heading, but where our pointing direction is. Our aircraft will actually be heading a slightly different way. Uh, but that's not too important at the moment and the range to the next waypoint and the next waypoint is the control uh, is the approach point uh, so that's that so let's get on with it now what we want to do is just sort my trim out so i'm not climbing or descending and i'm also going to um like i said put the cross in the circle and trust in the circle so this is all about completely trusting the instruments so we're going to get in the circle there. Now the next thing to point out, uh, it's quite hard to talk and do this, so I'm going to just keep pausing it. The next thing to point out is all of this nav information is displayed here on our data link. And this is a godsend. Without this, it would be really confusing and difficult. So we can see that on our nose is our approach point. That's there. Then it'll take us on to our uh, final approach, which will be that line there. So we can track our progress with that line. Okay, you can see we're about 100 meters below our desired um, Altitude, our speed is coming down, which is good. Just keep tracking that circle, trust in the circle. Circle is everything. I'm bouncing up and down a bit at the moment, but it doesn't really matter. Um, range 5 kilometers until we get to our approach point, and we can check there, yep. And you can see on the data link screen the uh, carrier is just coming into view. So at this point, I'm really concentrating on getting my trim right, so I can trim the aircraft up, down, left and right. And I want to trim it so that when I'm heading towards the circle, my controls are neutral. It gives me maximum uh, control of the aircraft at that point. And speed, right, we've, we're under speeding, I've just realised, so power on. And power is good. 
Speed is good, sorry. Altitude. We're snaking up and down a little bit, but generally we're okay. 1.3 kilometers. Preparing to turn left by the looks of things. And we're now on landing mode. It's switched to landing mode, so it's, that's the ILS. It's communicating with the carrier, and it's going to put us on the correct approach in terms of elevation and in terms of um, uh, elevation and azimuth and elevation bearing in mind where the boat is and bear in mind that the boat is moving as well right so we're going to turn left so what we're going to do is follow the circle and it will take us left onto that heading there note there's an extra circle now so there's a slight added bit of complexity um, for all intents and purposes what we've got to do is get the little circle inside the big circle inside the cross so the cross is in the center of both circles if we can do that then we're pretty sure that we're okay and all the time we want to keep at our ideal and all the time we want to keep at our ideal speed and altitude as well so let's make the left turn we want to make it fairly sharp because um, if we are not sharp enough then um, we're gonna have some catching up to do to get back on vector so I think we're gonna be a good about there so you can see on the data link screen down the bottom right we're oh we're okay speed is too high it's crept up so I'm gonna reduce throttle we're above the glide slope at the moment so I'm just uh, what I'm doing now is playing with my trim I'm holding the joystick neutral playing with my trim to get us inside those circles and you can see the circles are just starting to merge now I've still got no um, visual on the carrier yet but uh, fingers crossed we will see it at some point I'm not going to air brake. Air braking is a bit too violent. I'm just going to let uh, aerodynamic braking um, take us down to 290. Everything's checking out on the data link. 9.8 kilometers until the carrier. Uh, right, so now we're going to get dirty. Hook down with the H key. Gear down with the G key. Flaps down with the F key. This is going to mess our trim up completely. And you can see we've um, moved off of the circles and I'm struggling now to get the trim back. So now power on to get back to speed and just concentrate on trimming out because the trim is going to be messed up at the moment and that feels okay now I'm going to do a quick check of my uh, lights just to make sure everything is go so we've got our gear which are down there our hook is down there and our flaps are down there so um, we are config we are dirty and configured for landing uh, so let's continue again I'm not touching the stick at all I'm just touching the trim up and down to do our uh, up and down movements that you're seeing Speed is a little low still. Now we're dirty. We're going to need a bit more power. Uh, the lights, uh, the circles are pretty good. As far as actual landing, um, I haven't done this for about a year, so I can't remember whether it takes us all the way down to the wires, uh, these guides, or whether it's like the Hornet and takes you about 100 feet above the carrier. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to just find out the hard way. I don't know about you, but I still can't see the carrier, even though we're five clicks out. Um, I have no idea why. I'm just going to have faith. Uh, right, speed is reducing now. We're going to start adding some extra alpha to the bird now. Angle of attack, and that's fine. Um, she'll be at uh, the angle of attack that she needs to be to catch the wires. And to assure that angle of attack, uh, you've got the angle of attack uh, gauge here. Uh, basically, I'm just going to fly at the right speed, at the right glide slope, and the angle of, angle of attack will sort itself out based on that. Okay. Double check of my uh, lights. Yeah, I'd like to double check. Just checking out the top right, make sure we don't have to ask the carrier to come in. It doesn't look like we do. So, so we're on speed now. Angle of attack meter on the left is good. If anything, we're slightly too slow now, so adding power now. Still can't see the bloody carrier. Too much power added. Coming down on the power now. I think I see the carrier at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if you can see that. It may be the carrier. Coming down on the power, down on the power. I'm just going to pause it there and uh, have a little look in there. Ah, right. That is the carrier right there. I don't know how I didn't spot that, but that is the bridge. That is the uh, the runway. That is the ball. And the, the wires are going to be about there. We're literally one kilometre away, about half a mile away. So that's how, li you know, that's how bad visibility we've got, basically. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch from the instrumentation to landing by eye and the ball and our alpha meter here. We want that in the middle, ideally. Um, and our speed is just slightly below, but we'll be OK. So let's give it a go. Uh, so here is where I lose it and smash into the tower or something stupid. 
So not too high, not too low. Not coming too low. Are coming too low. Power on. Come on, baby. Hey! Woo. Okay, that was... I was literally pooing myself there. I was so nervous. I don't know about you guys. And relax. Um, hook up. It's a really... It really is terrifying. It's a video game, and even if I die, it, you know, it doesn't matter because I can just respawn and do it again, but it does generally get... Genuinely get quite terrifying. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I need to remember. Um, not really. Uh, remember to put your wings up with right control P, I think it is, once you're on the carrier. And uh, go and park up somewhere. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you later.